All right, so I think um, RTA resets uh, at some point today. So basically, uh, the point of this is to try to get back into um, champion, which I think is uh, where I should be. Um, again, I try to avoid playing RTA a lot, so that's why like I I missed a few days and I got dropped down, and uh, here I am in challenger. So just trying to get back into champion for the end of the season. Uh, basically, I want his master anyway, considering. Like at least master right because at that point you get the uh, the skin so you can see here my most banned units because I don't like playing against any of these let's just do this uh, fortunately I have a decent uh, C Dom now she doesn't have any molas other than the tur the one turn cooldown on her S3 um, let's go see so basically this like the, the main combo I tend I generally tend to run is gonna be SSB and Crow. Um, let's take so we'll see what else he tends to go okay so at this point I think I'm gonna run okay so he's taking Alencia uh, Alencia do I have any fire units I might just run um, actually I might just run Ravi in there somewhere or uh, Tenebria Tenebria looks like fun um, I think I'm just gonna run Dizzy and Dizzy, if I can get her. Okay, Dizzy and Tenebria. Um, and then lastly, I think I'm either going to run... Uh, depending on what he chooses, I'm probably just going to pick a... Uh, uh, so you can see why I, I tend to lose... Uh, not be very good at this, and I tend to lose a lot. Um, like this is just horrible drafting, is what this is. Um... So he's just gonna keep those. I think I'm gonna go with another fire unit. Uh, I recently, oh, my Charlotte's not done yet. Should I go with uh, Ravi? He's probably gonna get rid of my tanker, which is gonna be a problem. Uh, I'll just go with Ruel, I guess. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of you. Um, see how this goes. What you, let's see what he drops. I think this team is fine to a degree. I'm putting him in a really tough position for what to ban because her and her are going to be huge pains. Uh, even with the grass advantage from these two. Um, yeah, so he dropped the uh, tanker. So what I'm going to do here is... Let's see. So I'm putting her in the back because I, I do want this imprint. The problem, gonna, problem being... Um, gonna go on somebody I don't want it to go on here let's do that yeah that looks fine uh, SSB probably has my main uh, HP um, we'll see how this goes okay so we got the Vivian so the immunity is going to be turn one, so I guess turn one. I'm just going to S1 with uh, with her here. Okay, so let's just S1. See what I can strip. Okay, didn't strip anything really. Uh, these three still have their buffs, so I think I'm just going to try to sleep her. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to hit this instead. Still an 85% chance with that one. Uh, they've got three turn. Okay, so she slept. Okay, cool. Uh, well, <laughs> that didn't work out very well considering she still has the, the immunity there. Um, let's see how well this goes. That actually did quite a bit of damage. Um... <clears throat> Uh, well, let's see. Hopefully she misses and I can keep the attack buff, but uh, we'll see how that goes. This seems like a really squishy FCC. I'm gonna have to see what her HP is at. So hopefully she procs a counter. Please counter. Your duel. 
Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's just hit her with this. She's got 28 HP. She's got like no defense, which is kind of weird. Does she have? Maybe she has. Does she have a. Uh, what's that? Uh, the uh, you know what it is. The. Uh, Ah, no, I don't think she has it. Yeah, um, I was wondering about the um, Aureus. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. So I think a lot of people are gonna die here. Yeah, we basically all died. We got wiped by a. Uh... Let's revive. I think uh, basically this is just a loss. There's no way I can fight this. So yeah, you got it, buddy. I don't have any. I don't have enough threatening fire units. I wonder. Losing the Crow was where I went wrong there. Um, having it get banned was a huge hit. Basically, my idea was like should have tank out what I could there, but uh, without the Crow, it wasn't really possible. And then I had to put someone on the front line there. Um, he took my FCC, which that's the backup. So I usually go FCC Crow because they're probably gonna take one. If they don't take one, they take both. Um, so we'll see what I got here. So we're about the same range. Uh, let's see what we ban. Also, like my uh, pre-ban was kind of a waste because that person chose the same thing. Okay. Let's choose you and uh, Crow. So let's see how this goes. Um, Usually, I mean, I need to uh, six star my uh, what's her name, the girl, the where is she here? She's built to a decent degree. She's got all that one. Um, what's her name? <sighs> Keep I can't remember anybody's name for the life of me. Uh, Rowana, there we go. Her name is Rowana. Um, I have her with decent gear, but. Uh, See what to do. I run. I have her on Ayala, so I think I'm gonna run with her. And uh, again, I'm gonna try her. I might go with uh, CC here if he doesn't take it. Okay, yeah, I have to go with CC. He's got a lot of damage, but see if we can't neuter any of his damage with uh, what I have on my time on my team. Um, I feel like he's still gonna ban the SSB, even though he's expecting the Rowana ban. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, very interesting. Uh, let's put you here. Let's put you here. Uh, that looks fine to me. We'll see how this goes. Um, I think he knows people are running Ayelas on their dizzies now, so he didn't want to get um, the strip removed. Uh, he, want, he didn't want to get the uh, evasion removed. Kind of weird he didn't S3 there. I'm not sure what that was about. Did he, maybe run, did he run out of time? I have no idea. Let's just hit this, see what I get. I, see sh I only hit her and she resisted at both of them, so that kind of sucks. Let's go with this. Uh, let's do... Let's hit you. I think he's gonna hit. Yeah, he's gonna hit uh, Tenebria because she's weaker. Uh, which is fine. Tenebria is kind of a red herring in any case. Your life 
Okay, very cool. Means nothing. Okay, and then he's gonna get the S3 here again. Uh, so ML Violet or ML, yeah, ML Violet's gonna go again. And of course, you got the um, greater attack buff off the uh, Lencias or off the Alexas. I think he's an S3 Char uh, Charles. Um, Crow here. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to kill him. Ends here. <clears throat> I think I lost this one. Oh, I didn't. Not yet, anyway. Uh, so he's gonna hit her. Uh, if he brings anybody but Ruel, he's dead. So, I mean her. Uh, him, I mean. Okay, so. Here we are. Let's kill him. Of course, she's still taunted somehow. Of course, she gets the uh, Alexis. Oh my gosh, I guess I'm just stuck in Challenger forever now. Uh, I think with this team particularly, uh, maybe I should have had uh, FCC in front and then crowd down here. Um, she's gonna die. So yeah, that's fine. You got this. Well, yeah, you got this. Let's not waste any of uh, your time and my time. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, lesson for the future is uh, better positioning. The main problem being, I don't really have a whole lot of like good ML five stars for like aggressive. Like the only uh, let's go pick you. The only ML five star I have that does damage is gonna be uh, Tenebria. Um, other than her, I don't have anything else, which generally tends to annoy me. Uh, let's go with uh, as you said, Bologna. She's like the only five star I have. The only uh, basically ML five star I have. Um, I think maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to start going with Alencia more. Let's go with, uh, let's see this. Just got here. Should I go, I'm going to go Alencia. Ruel here. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, so he's doing what I do is usually just like take a uh, fire, uh, annoying fire unit into people. Um, so I think uh, if he doesn't take MLCC, I'm taking MLCC and uh, who else? Let's take CC. Where are you, CC? Here we are. So we got CC, and I think I'm gonna take. This is the one of the few times where maybe. go with you. I really need more effectiveness on my um, Dizzy. She's only got like 50 or something like that. Um, it's just that putting like basically you want an effectiveness ring with uh, a lot of speed and, and survivability and all that. Um, let's just get rid of the healing I think. Well yeah, I'm just gonna have to ban him. Let's see how this goes. This is a bad decision. I really should have hit that Serato. He can solo you, especially when you have like debuffs on all your um, people here. Uh, let's do you. It doesn't really matter here because I don't have imprints, but. Uh... Let's see how this goes. Uh, a lot of times, not having healing ends up just losing you in general, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so no one has anything to debuff here, so let's just S1. Okay, so they all got they all lost their uh, energy. So he's gonna S3 here, which is decent. Hopefully he misses the uh, dizzy. I don't think he missed anybody. Which that sucks. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the crow. Let's hit. Everybody with this. Mm. 
Where did I get the blind from? I have no idea. Um, let's just cleanse. Well, there's no point. Let's just hit. Uh, we'll hit you. Oh, balls. Yep. Of course, I get the dual attack. And then he dual attacked the skill nullifier off of my dizzy. Oh my gosh, dude. It's not too surprising that um, Tenebra had that much um, effectiveness to, to hit it on her, but still pretty annoying. It's one of those... This game makes me ask the question of why I'm playing it a lot, um, but that usually comes up. It's like, she's got 150 effectiveness resistance and she still gets hit by everything, and you're just like, why? I do anything, honestly. Uh, let's hit you. I mean, she, she basically has the S1 anyway now. Well, there you go. We got that for free. Uh, let's hit this. Uh, let's hit the S2 now. Of course, she gets the Alexis proc. Uh, he's just gonna soul burn S1, I think. Yeah. Okay, so she's dead. Um, let's heal herself here in this case. Let's just hit you. Okay, so he's provoked. So he's gonna S1 for not really much of anything. Okay, so they're basically just uh, provoke locking each other now. So let's see if I can kill Zerato. Zerato can solo the whole team just because, um, well there you go. We all have debuffs on our S1, which is kind of dumb on my part, but that's fine. Uh, the question usually becomes, let's do this. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Nothing to worry about. We got 15 points. I don't know how much I lost before. I was like a 570 when this started. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just challenger forever. Alencia's. Oh, I have to actually go back and I have enough to mola my Alencia, and I forgot to add one. Um, so she's missing one right now that she should have. Uh, let's get rid of you. Okay, so I don't know. That's a weird ban. I'll show you what I've got. Let's see what you got. Let's see. And this guy. Okay, so let's go with. Uh, you and uh, I want to go with you. I'm just going, yeah, let's just go these three. These are three just good picks in general. Like, your first three picks, you want to kind of go with like um, 
generally good picks. Uh, you you want to save your counter picks for like the last two. Um, that's the kind of the way I see it. Just because like there's not enough to go off of without the first three picks. Um. So I think I'm going. Yeah, I'm think I'm gonna go with Dizzy now. So let's go with Dizzy. And uh, he's got that. So let's go with Dizzy. And where are you? This guy here. Let's see what this gets me. Uh, he might. Let's see what he goes here. Oh yeah, he's gonna go with that. Um. I might just have to go with that, but I don't. I really dislike uh, you, so I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, he chose her to counter him, but didn't actually do anything, so I'm not entirely sure what was up with that. Um, okay, so let's uh, see how this goes. I don't have any healing, so that's kind of uh, an issue, but neither does he, so. Just see who um, can do more damage before uh, anything fishy goes on. So I think he's just going to S3 her. Um, there's really no reason not to. Let's see if she dies. Oh, he went for the Dizzy. That's weird. Maybe it's not weird. I don't know. It seems weird to me, but maybe I'm just weird. Wow, that, that Dizzy is tanky. Like, I know it's my own Dizzy. Like, I should know, right? But it's just, holy shit. Uh, she's pretty tanky. Um, so two of them are in stealth, which means I think I'm just going to blow the S3 on Crow on... Um, what's her name there? Uh, let's do... This, because some of them still have barriers, and let's just get rid of the barriers, the skill nullifier, the attack buff, the... Um, whatever that she has over there. Okay, so... This is looking kind of dire for my si for my side here. I think he's just gonna he might hit the dizzy or he's probably yeah he's probably gonna hit. I was I was assuming he'd hit her, but I was thinking maybe the dizzy just to kill her. I didn't get the debuff. I didn't get the freaking stealth thing off of her, which means I missed. Oh, that's annoying. I guess I'm just gonna hit her. I mean, it's not gonna do very much because she's got way too much HP, but that's fine. And I'm probably gonna miss, given my luck. Yeah, I missed. Yeah, so barely got the, the shield off. Uh, of course, she's gonna hit. I think she's gonna hit. Um, she might hit Dizzy. Uh, no, she's probably gonna hit the. Yeah, she went with the Dizzy for some reason. I think in that case, I would have gone for. Um, I would have gone for uh, SSB, but uh, you know, what do I know? Yeah, so I think she's gonna S1 my SSB. And of course she got the dual attack, because uh, <laughs> why would I have good luck at all? Uh, let's just hit you. I'm probably gonna just gonna lose this, but let's just go with it, why not? Let's get the uh, second uh, defense buff up. <sighs> of course you got the Alexas. <sighs> So, Crow's gonna die. Then I don't think uh, Alencia can bring this back on her own anyway. I feel like we should just leave at this point. Yeah, and then of course she's getting dual attacks, because why would I be lucky? Uh, so yeah, let's just get out of here. Uh, I think what lost me there was losing the DJ Basar. That was a good, um, good take on his part. Um, the hit debuff that um, is impossible for um, a builder to miss on um, killed a lot of my damage, uh, as well as like the stun from like the well play stuns from what's her name. Uh, let's go with you again. What well was the well play stun from um, the girl there? A Coley uh, lost us that one, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's go with 
you. If I want her. Well, let's just go with the. Uh, where are you? Crow. And uh, what's her name? MLCC. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, Rowana. I think I'm just. I might just leave Rowana because usually people like pick Rowana just to bait out the counter. Um, and SSB can just kind of like counter a lot of Rowana wants to do anyway. So let's go with. Uh, let's get some healing. Uh, where's the healing? Let's go here with you. If I can. There we go. And I think I'm just gonna go with. Uh, let's go see who else to pick here. I'm gonna go with her. Why not? So I think in this case I'm probably just gonna hit the um, Ruel, but we'll see what this last pick is and uh, see what we go from there. Oh, da -da -da. oh, he went with Charles. That's bad. Um, Hit Ruel here. Do what I lose. Yeah, uh, a lot of people. It's it's always weird because I tend to like hitting anything but the Rowana, just because a lot of people pick Rowana. Um, pick Rowana as a counter to bait out the um, the ban. So if you're picking SSB and they pick Rowana, you're kind of forced to pick to ban the Rowana. Um, and in that case, like they end up anticipating that and banning the SSB anyway. Uh, so yeah. Okay, you're gonna hit the S3 off of him. Not gonna do any damage because they never do any damage, especially with all the uh, mitigation I have. Yeah. So. Okay, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to S3 here. Uh, if, if Charles counters, it's fine. Okay. It's alright. S2, okay, that's still fine. Oh, it, wow, that's weird. I don't have, like, any resistance on her. Let's, uh, well. Let's just hit you, why not? There's really no point to push back the, um, the, what's his name over there? Well, getting countered left and right. Well, at least I get the S3 off, or the S2 off of, uh, SSB here. Does he have, like, he has, like, negative effectiveness. Like, none of my units have effectiveness on them, so I don't really understand what, uh, oh, no, he got it, okay. It looked like he didn't, which is why I was, like, confused there for a second. Let's see if he gets the strip. Yeah, he got the strip. Uh, so, of course, we got the Alexa's basket, which is fine. He's gonna S3. I'm gonna S2 again, which is gonna heal all of them, but it'll heal uh, SSB up as well. Of course, he landed the uh, Miss debuff here. Uh, he's gonna S3, which is fine. Oh, again, see, this is where another problem is. I forgot to uh, learn the lesson of last time and switch the MLCC and the um, Crow in this situation because Crow ends up taking way too much damage off of this. Uh, if this guy over here... What does this give you? This gives you just revive off, right? And heal. So if he crits the Crow, he'll kill him. But if not, he, he'll, he won't. He might actually just hit her, but... Okay, so let's see if he missed. Oh, of course, cool. Okay, so now I can crowd S3 somebody. Uh, let's just... Uh... Of course, I got the Elvis. Okay, here goes again. So I think he might kill Crow. Wow, this crowd is just not gonna die. 
Oh no, he got blown away. Uh, so yeah, again, problem was I had the, uh, usually I'm just too used to like regular arena because in arena I have Crown at the front because it's easy to manipulate their AI. Um, and then he, gen he just tends to survive a lot better. Um, but yeah, so that was, this is a mistake on my part here. So he's, his revive is already gone. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. I'm probably just going to lose this one again. And you got the resistance, of course. Uh, if you're not building uh, resistance, Charles, I mean, what are you doing with your life, honestly? And yeah, he almost died. Of course, he got the Alexis again. Uh, what's that, like three times in a row? Okay, so he's going to, uh, he's just going to hit her, which is fine. Okay, so now she's going to hit her, which is fine again. Uh, I don't know why she did that. Oh, she wants to get the barrier on him. <clears throat> it's weird that she did that, though, because the barrier was going to be on him regardless, because he's the lowest HP one, so. Okay, so he's dead now, which is fine. Um, now I just got to work on um, Charles here. Well, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna kill her. Let's. Uh, she's a uh, level 50, so she's probably missing uh, a little bit of health here and there. <clears throat> I didn't get to see what her HP was, which is pretty annoying. Like you guys saw that too. Like it just skipped over showing us her HP, which is pretty irritating. Uh, not that it would make a difference. I mean, I, you know, regardless, it's not to kill her. Uh, let's just again, let's just hit her. Of course the counter. Of course the S2 even though I don't have any buffs. <sighs> Just hit you. Okay, I get to see 17k HP, that's not bad. <clears throat> okay, I got the stun, cool. Finally, I get some RNG on my side. Okay, I got that. <clears throat> okay, so I need to do this. Hopefully I can provoke her. Yep, okay. This is one of the other problems with her is like she has like people don't build like they just kind of like put spare gear on her just to have her there because no one like wants to actually just build a Rwanda. Um, the problem with that is that like she has low effect resistance, which means that SSBs can just walk up to her and like S3 her uh, and basically just counter everything she does. Now she won't be able to heal or do anything after that anyway. Uh, okay, so here's the last uh, Elbrus proc. So everything after this, if he hits back, is going to be like his own counter, which is going to suck regardless. Uh, let's see what he can do. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. So basically, I think we got this. Um, this person was just being stubborn. Yeah. Uh, that person was being, I guess, about as stubborn as I was, considering I didn't want, I didn't want to leave either. Uh, so yeah, I just need to um, <laughs> remember to put uh, FCC in the lower position so she's not taking the, uh, what's her name, damage. Uh, let's just hit you, I guess. <clears throat> I'm thinking about uh, not hitting Basar anymore. I just don't really know who else to uh, ban. I don't find anyone that irritating. Um... Let's see, go with uh, Crow here. Where's FCC? She's over here somewhere. There she is. Uh, against this comp, yeah, he's just stacking on a lot of damage, and I think I can out tank a lot of it. Okay, that, that just sort of closes it because now I get to pick here. So, I think for most of you, 
it's important to realize not to run like at least I don't know I don't think you should um, be running DN without um, picking Alencia because then this happens but that's just me maybe I'm you know maybe I'm wrong um, they have a lot of buffs <clears throat> I guess if you're confident that um, you know to worry about that. So I guess my question is, I need a healer. Do I want? What do I want? I think I might just go with Momo here. But I do like the CR push from you, so I think I'm just gonna go with you. Um, I think the person he's gonna hit here is just gonna be uh, her, which means that the rest of these are pretty good. Uh, so my thing is, I'm just going to get rid of Charles, because I don't really want to deal with him. The rest of these are pretty squishy, especially like, uh, there we go. Uh, so let's put you, let's see you there. Put you here. Put you there. Well, actually, we'll put you there. This doesn't look too bad. We'll see how this goes. Um... Okay, so he gets this, which is fine. Get out of my way. Oh, so he's gonna S3 somebody, which probably her, wow, 85. Oh, him, very interesting. Uh, it's kind of weird that he's doing this because, like, you're resetting his cooldown, which is not the biggest deal considering he's, um, like, we just started, right? Like, I'm not going to be able to use it right off the bat anyway, unless he thinks that he's going to do so much damage to him that, like, I'm going to do it within the next five turns or something. But yeah, that's, it's just kind of odd. Uh, so, let's see. This is this is irritating, because... With these two, it's basically a ticking time bomb, because if they have Alexas, uh, that's a three-turn greater attack buff, which is pretty annoying. Um, so this is probably... Yeah, so here we go. So... Maybe this guy, it seems to me this guy has a lot more experience than I do because he predicted that I'd have Kraus S3 um, ready by the time I needed it, so that's very interesting. Uh, so we got the blind, of course. Okay, so basically one down. Uh, I think this is over. I don't see him winning because I think I'm just going to kill... Vildred off of this. He's gonna come back and do no damage. And then I'm gonna hit with Crow. I don't know why he's still here. I think I mean I, w I mean I might have left, I don't know. Um, and there we go, we get the second round of uh, debuffs there. Um just hit you because you're irritating. Okay, there we go. So now we need to cleanse anything. Um just hit with this again. Yeah, so this is a weird, like, this, yeah, it was a weird uh, setup. They didn't have enough to out tank all this. And I get the S3, or the S2. Let's see if she dies. I'm very curious, actually. Oh, she did die. Ugh, now I have to wait another turn for, um, this guy to go away. Um, so let's just hit you. And of course I missed. So he does have the Alexas, I just got, like, super lucky and he didn't proc it. Let's hit you again. I think I'm just gonna kill him because he's gonna revive otherwise. Now I want to see who Kron over here hits. And I get the S3, or the S2 again. This is interesting because I think Kron's going to survive long enough to hit uh, Crow, so he gets his S3 up again, right? Because of the passive or whatever. Oh no. Okay, well he's just going to die anyway. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah, he lost. Uh, this is already 40 minutes. We'll do one more and then I'll, uh, I'll call it. I might, like, make a separate video, another 40-minute, um, video. Just as, like, as long as it takes to get to, um, Challenger. We'll see how this goes. 
Not challenger, I mean, I'm already in challenger. Um, in champion. Okay, so this person has... Their picture is... What's her name? I feel like I should be... Yeah, I think I might have to look into banning someone else, picking someone else to ban, because, like, the Basar... For one, people aren't running Basar and RTA as much. I mean, they're still running it just because, like, you invest a lot into a Basar for regular arena, and then, you know, may as well throw him into um, RTA as well. Um, but I have, you know, I have, like, the Lilius, I have the, the regular, the DJ Basar, so... I think maybe I can uh, forgo that. Uh, but yeah, let's go with uh, you and you. So I think my next two picks are going to be the same as last time, Alencia, then um, uh, Fallen CC, depending on uh, what he goes with. Okay. I like when people choose Lilius into SSB because it just feeds her stacks. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, that into... Uh, where's uh well maybe not pick her let's do uh, do I want to go with Valencia that's actually a good question um I'm gonna go with you and then I'm gonna pick uh I'm gonna pick uh you uh so in this case let's see how this goes um he's probably you need two damage threats basically because you can't have one damage and then just have that be banned out and then you're screwed basically. I think what I'm going to do next is... So AoE, AoE, yeah it's not good to pick that so I think I'm just going to go with uh, healing. So either you or you. I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what this does for me. Probably gonna lose the SSB, yeah. Uh, so let's put you here, you here, and uh, you here. Let's see how this goes. Um, I think I'd have like, right now it's not too bad, but I think I'd have like a better chance if uh, if that was Alencia over there, as my uh, instead of uh, Charles, she's just better in general than RTA. But we'll, I want to test out the Charles, see how he's doing, see how he does here now. Given uh, I've given I've given him a few upgrades too. Um, I think I'm just gonna S1 you. Yeah, I'm just gonna S1 you. And of course, it resisted. Um, let's uh, let's S. S2 you, why not? Okay, she resisted that too. It's kind of weird that Charles' little picture thing came before uh, Alent uh, Lilius, but then, like, she still outsped him. It's just weird to me. Okay, so I, I S... I didn't S3 because I was expecting him to, uh... Oh, there we go. Free, uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. So that's one death down. He's gonna go again, which is fine, because I still have healing coming up with uh, DJ Basar. And he didn't get the Alexa. So there you go. Finally, getting a little bit of luck on my side here. Okay. So let's just hit everybody with this. Okay, so he's gonna S3, but let's see, 14k HP. I don't think he's gonna do very much damage. Yeah, so hopefully DJ Basar is gonna lap. Yes, okay, cool. That's what I was looking for there. Uh, let's just hit you. So, basically, I th what I want him to do is waste the S3 here on Charles, which he didn't do because he's smart. Uh, okay, and he's gonna S2, S1 Charles, which is fine. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so now I get to just do this. Okay, so he's dead. 
It's gonna S3 you. 10k. Okay, so then I get to kill him. And we'll see how, uh, if I can take out this, um, uh, Ravi. 17, so she's doing as much damage as we're, uh, as we're hitting her with, so... Or she's healing as much as we're hitting her with, so this is hitting for... 20, so she heals for 17 on every hit, which is fine. Um, basically at this point, I'm waiting to stack up the, um... 19, that's pretty good. Uh, actually, where's my little... Hold on, I'm gonna pause this real quick, I'm gonna be right back. Oh, no, actually I can't, because I'm in the middle of a RTA match. Let us just... Oh, well. I'm going to note down here every time uh, she counters. Just because I like to be petty about this. Um, let's just get everybody uh, forward so we can all uh, pile into her real quick. Uh, so obviously it doesn't count right now because she's stunned. And, uh, do you get the counter? Proc thing? No, I don't know, it doesn't say. So, this person, so there's one. We're pretty good so far. So then here's four. Okay, so she has a 20% chance. That's one out of every five hits. So in theoretical mathematical land, that should have procced a hit, and it didn't. So I'm so far I'm positive on the uh, the counter attack ratio. Okay, so that's another one. That's six. This one is seven. Okay, so seven, and I got one. Uh, the, the main reason I, I tend to um, do this a lot. So there's eight, and there's another one. I'm two for eight so far, which that's actually in his favor because it should be two for ten. Um, so for nine, so that's nine, and he's already got three. So he's already got 15 attacks worth of counters which is why i always like to write this down because this this 20 percent chance is utter bullshit um, as i think i think i think as everybody we all know um so that's so so far we're at 12 and this is 13. and we got another counter so she's at 20 attacks worth of counters. And that's not counting what the counter she had earlier, which were not, which were again, were in her favor. Um, and there we go, there's another one. So we're barely at 15 attacks. This will be number 15. She didn't resist, so we're five for 15. So she's at 30% counter rate. Um, the reason I get so uppity about this is because Specifically with her, um, you really like. She needs to be held to a high standard of, of how much she counters, just because. Um, so that's one. This is two. Because given that she counters, she gains a lot of her. Um, so now we pause it because of. Uh, she's stunned. Um, when she counters, she gains a lot of her like healing stacks back. Uh, which is basically just like oh, as overpowered as you can get um, Which is why I get so annoyed with her uh, counter rate because She really shouldn't be countering that much given how much she gains from a counter not only does she heal 
But she gains those healing stacks back. So this is another one. So is, right now we're at 14. Uh, 19, actually. And this is 20. And I got the stun. Okay, so I think this is his game for him. Because I don't know if he'll be able to come back from this. And of course, I think I, I think he's just autoing at this point. Just letting the timer run out and like picking his attacks. Let's uh let's see let's just boost him and see if we can get the um the, the uh, S two off of Crow. I think he has it up, right? Okay, so we're gonna push him push him back a little bit. Ultimately, I think this person just being stubborn. I think more than even me, um, because I don't think he can win this at this point. I keep burning the uh, S3 because the S3 has more to reduce the cooldown so I can use the S3 more because the S3 has more damage on it than the S1. Um, let's just do the, so here we're back at the counting again. Okay, so. Okay, she died. Cool. So she was 6 for, what, 23. And some of those, she probably would have she probably would have won if I hadn't stunned her so many times. So basically, um, that person would have won if uh, they had more effect resistance is what it comes down to. So lesson for all you guys out there, build more effectiveness, effective resistance uh, on your rabbies. Um, make sure you don't lose on fights like that for no reason. But yeah, that's it for today. Or maybe not today, but like I'll probably upload another RTA video later.